Two shot kill from that far, bro. OP. <laughs> oh my god, I one shot at him, bro. Nerf this. <laughs> oh, that's nasty, bro. 20 bomb with the Iron Horde revolving. I want this dude to push me, bro. Straight up. Would you still care to talk to me? So, uh, what's up, guys? It's here, here by Nino or Quaji, and welcome back to another video of Call of Duty Warzone Pacific. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the most overpowered shotgun here in Call of Duty Warzone that is, has now kind of overtaken the double barrel for me, and that's going to be the Einhorn Revolving. Before we talk about what makes it so freaking crazy and overpowered, let me just say Happy New Year, guys. It's now 2022. As you guys all know, with every new year, there's a new Call of Duty, some new Warzone guns to be integrated into the game, and hopefully won't break the game like some of the Vanguard guns have in today's video especially. But uh, just know with the new year, you know, you have new goals, you know, you're gonna meet new people maybe, you're gonna have, uh, you know, new struggles, new blessings. Just know that everything that comes with every new year, take it as you will, you know, and on this journey of life, we learn to become the best version of ourselves every single day. And we're never gonna be perfect. That's just the grim reality of it. We can strive to be the best that we can be and just keep continuing to be the best person you can be. I know with this upcoming year, I'm gonna be hitting 100K. And that's gonna be a big goal of mine, obviously, especially within this next month or two. I'm just super excited for the future of this year for me. Especially because 2020 and 2021 were like the best years of my life. And I have you guys to thank. So thank you for being a big part of my life. You guys are legit changing my life. And I can never be truly expressive as to how thankful and how loving I am towards you guys. So I love you guys from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for being here. And just I hope you guys have a great 2022. Let me know what goals you have in mind in the comment section below. Like what are some quote unquote New Year's resolutions. And know that in order to achieve those goals, you have to be consistent and determined every single day you know you can take some rest days but overall don't get too lazy don't uh, you know slack because if you want to actually see some of these goals into reality keep trying every day uh to work a little bit towards your goal anyways uh yeah that's all i have to say and now let's uh, let's actually talk about this gun we got the einhorn revolving now the einhorn revolving is a semi-auto gun so you can shoot it pretty repeatedly and it only has five bullets in its chamber you could extend it up to seven the strength of this gun comes that with this class setup that we've crafted here this gun can basically be a two-shot kill from around like 20-ish meters so that's a really far range that's double the range of the double barrel shotgun which can one shot obviously uh, you know, in a close quarters combat. But the fact that the Einhorn Revolving can two shot from very, very far away is dangerous, especially because it has more ammo as well in its clip. So you can take out like two people from 20 meters away if you really wanted to. The person who came up with this class setup, his name was Elgumtov, and he basically tested every attachment, and this thing works. In today's solos Warzone gameplay, I was able to achieve a 20 plus kill gameplay in Warzone solos on Caldera on a big freaking map. And I was able to pretty much do it with mostly the shotgun. Like this thing is overpowered and I can vouch for that. So if you guys are excited to see the new best shotgun here in Warzone Pacific 2022 and you guys want to be able to use it yourselves and get your own high score killing gameplays and you know you guys can see this class setup and use it for yourselves make sure you guys drop a like subscribe if you're new and turn on those notifications we're less than 2700 subscribers away from that ultimate goal of a hundred thousand subscribers so you guys want to be a part of this hundred thousand subscriber goal you can because it will definitely happen this year and you'll definitely want to be here before we maybe we blow up to a million subscribers who knows i just want to say i really freaking love you guys you guys already know how much loving i am you know in the intro when i made my little new year speech just know i really freaking love you guys from the bottom of my heart and thank you for being here also if you have the spare time check me out on all of my social medias follow me on my facebook channel known as carnage hero and subscribe to my other youtube channel known as more carnage hero on those channels i'll be uploading call of duty vanguard multiplayer content so if you ever want to see me play call of duty vanguard multiplayer go to those channels but here on the main channel we got that war zone man that good good also shout out to the couple of you guys that wanted to see the Einhorn revolving in a video. If anybody watching this Warzone video right now wants to be my future Warzone videos with their comments showing on screen, just like the beautiful people that I just showed off, make sure you guys drop a like, subscribe if you're new, and comment down in the comment section below what Warzone gun I should use next. If I see your comment and I make a video based on a gun you mentioned on your comment, then your comment can put onto that video for the whole world to see, and that'd be really freaking amazing. But yeah, that's enough of me talking. I really love you guys from the bottom of my heart. And without further ado, let me show you guys the most overpowered class setup for the Einhorn Revolving 
here in Call of Duty Warzone Pacific 2022. So for our muzzle, we got the M97 full choke, which is going to give us tighter pellets. Rate. It's basically going to make this gun a lot more consistent and so that you're able to two shot your opponent a lot better, which is great. Our barrel is going to be the Clauses 710 millimeter O2B because it gives us more damage range. And that's the main part of this gun. Extra damage range is very necessary so that you can achieve that 20 meter two shot kill. Uh, if you have no range, then this gun is going to be very, it's going to be very niche, more niche than it already is as a shotgun. So having some extra range and being able to outgun some SMGs at higher ranges is very key. Our optic is going to be the slate reflector because that's the cleanest, you know, sight in the game. You could also use the iron sight or any of the other optics. It's just up to you how you want to use this. You know, we're not going to be aiming too far. So the slate reflector is perfect for me. Our stock is going to be the VDD Hunter, and this is going to help us with hipfire accuracy in case we need to hipfire. But the main, you know, keys here are going to be the aim walking wound speed and ADS speed. You know, you want to aim down sights so you can extend your damage range even more because when you're aiming down sights, you have the maximum damage potential, like over range. So that's very important uh, with that faster ADS speed. And if you want to strafe and dodge opponents, uh, the aim walking wound speed really comes in clutch here. Our underbarrel is going to simply be the Mark VI Skeletal for that faster ADS speed. Once again, when we're aiming down sights, we have the maximum damage range in our hand, so we want to have a faster ADS speed. Now, the trick here to having this gun be a two-shot kill at 20 meters is this birdshot five-round cylinder. Now, it looks really weird because it increases your movement speed, increases your ADS speed, which is both really good, and it increases your fire rate. But as you guys can see, according to the cons, it lowers your damage range. However, like I said before, the dude Elgumtov, he tested this attachment, and it actually increases the damage range. And I believe it, it increases the damage as well, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and it actually extends the damage out to 20 meters, so... Not only do you have a two-shot kill weapon, but you also have a faster fire rate weapon, which is just overpowered. And then with the extra movement speed, you can get closer to your opponents to achieve that two-time time to kill, which is just overpowered for this gun. So you definitely want to use the bird shot. Whenever the bird shot gets inevitably nerfed, run the 12 gauge. 12 gauge is definitely going to be like the bird shot. You just don't have that extra movement speed and fire rate. But the gun should still be very, very effective once they decide to nerf the bird shot because the bird shot is actually broken because it doesn't do everything correctly, which is actually pretty crazy. So run the bird shot, it's great. Our ammunition is gonna be incendiary. And the reason why we run incendiary is because with that those little ticks, this makes it possible so that you're able to two shot even after some ticks have gone by. So it's just more consistent like damage and will make the gun even more overpowered than it is before. This is basically like the R9 No uh, Reborn, which is pretty crazy. Our rear grip is going to be the leather grip for that extra ADS speed and aiming stability. Once again, just max out on ADS speed so we can aim out sights and get the maximum damage range. Our perk is going to be gun hose, so we don't have to worry about sprint to fire time at all because we, we're going to have instantaneous sprint to fire time. And since all you do is rush with a shotgun and having your gun out immediately is super key, well, gun ho comes in clutch for that. And our perk 2 is going to be quick for that extra sprint speed. You want to be as close to your opponents as possible to get that two shot kill from 20 meters. So that's where quick really comes in clutch. So yeah, this is the ultimate 10 attachment class setup that I highly recommend here in Call of Duty Warzone Pacific. Like I said, using this class, I played some Warzone solos and just absolutely dominated the lobby and got 20 plus kills. So uh, use it for yourselves. And if you guys find success with it, make sure you guys drop a like subscribe you and comment down in the comment section below how many kills and how many wins you end up having with this class setup it makes me super happy to hear if my class setups end up working out for you guys and like i said before if you guys want to be in a future warzone video comment down any vanguard gun warzone gun modern warfare cold war gun and if i make a Com a video with the gun and i see your comment and your comment put onto that video which would be really freaking amazing Let's thank you guys for your love and support here in uh you know for the rest of 2022 I see a bright future ahead of us, and I really can't wait for it, but use the side home revolving. We're starting the year off with something broken, which is something that I, I really wanted to do. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this gun. Use it at your own risk. You can, let me know if you guys like the double barrel or this better. The double barrel one shot is really nice, but the fact that you can two shot with the side home revolving from a farther distance kind of makes it more attractive of a choice for me. Because for the double barrel, I had to be up close. Like, I, I really can't have too much range. Has good range, but not as good as this Einhorn revolving. But anyways, uh, shout out to the channel members for your extra support on the channel. You are greatly appreciated. And shout out to you guys, the viewers, for putting in time into my videos because without you guys, I truly wouldn't be here. And I wouldn't have had the blessed 2020 and 2021 that I've had. You guys are my anchor. You guys are my ship. We're driving this together. And just, uh, just thank you for being a part of me. I really freaking love you guys. Hope you guys enjoy this gameplay. And let me know what other guns I should use in the future. You guys are freaking beautiful and amazing. And uh, enjoy the gameplay. I love you all.
So here we are playing some Call of Duty Warzone solos. In today's video, we'll be using the Einhorn Revolving Shotgun. And like the other shotgun that I covered in my video, uh, this shotgun is super overpowered as well. It can two-shot from a pretty good range, which gives it a really fast time to kill. So I definitely recommend it. Try it out if you haven't uh, done so already. And I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna prove to you guys in this video, this thing is actually broken. I still like the double barrel for the fact that it can one shot basically, but from a shorter range, but this gun can two shot from a pretty longer shotgun range, which is what I kind of want to show off. You can also one shot if the opponents are damaged enough, so this should be very interesting. Hopefully I don't get destroyed by some stupid stuff. I'm gonna loot around for a bit. Unless I'm tripping, I don't know. Let's find this dude though. Surprise, motherfucker. <gasps> Sorry there, buddy. Had to surprise you. Okay, then. Let's see if this is gonna find us over here. Hey, okay, doesn't seem like he's... Oh, he, this might be his uh, box right here. Let's find him. Is he on top? He's below. But he's just opening every freaking door out here. Hey, yo, what the fuck? How you doing, buddy? Glad to have gotten him. And this dude is trying to get... That's his freaking box right here. Hold on. Let's try to get to him. Crap, we can't get to him. Die. Die. There we go. Just had a jacket, man. Sorry. Thanks for the car, too. Really needed it. Especially because these cars are super slow. And we got a UAV. Okay, now let's start our rampage of destruction. Start by going over here. Having a good time. I really hate these vehicles, man. They legit are from like 1955, bro. We're gonna start things off by just getting a whole bunch of UAVs. And holding out until the, uh... UAV, getting flyover. call it. Holding out until the loadouts come in. Hopefully we can have some good time here. Bro, this vehicle is terrible, bro. Easy money, bro. That's how you do it. You got five kills already. Uh, let's go over here again. There you go. We got somebody over here. Christmas tree, maybe? Over here. Okay. We'll focus on that. Come over here, buddy. We're taking you out. Thank you for both kills. Double kill. Appreciate that. And that's how you take advantage. We got freaking seven kills already, bro. Doesn't matter if we have a faster car. All that matters is your decision making out here. If your decision making is good, you can do anything. We're probably gonna go over there. Stop by the Christmas tree a bit. We should be able to get our loadout. I see a dude over here. Hold on. Sit down, big you need to have good accuracy if you can use a fast firing gun like that, sir. He was trying to kill me with the PPSH, bro. Sorry, it doesn't work out that way. Anyways, keep it moving. I'm gonna switch off cars here and continue to just dominate, bro. Really can't wait to show you guys this Einhorn revolving class, because I never thought a shotgun could be this OP. I mean, we, sta we had the double barrels, obviously, but telling you this gun, this gun is pretty good, too. Yeah, let's get to this loadout. Oh, we got a dude coming. He doesn't know how powerful my gun is. Also, since I am using a shotgun. I might be using the SCG, you know, obviously for like closer range. So if you guys uh, don't mind that. So are there any bounties around here? Doesn't look like it. Oh, he stopped over here. Hold on. I'm gonna try to kind of knock him out real quick. There you go. Hold on. Watch this. Nerf this. Overpowered, man. Over freaking powered two shot kill. You love to see it. 
Oh my goodness. That was pretty toxic. I can't even lie. Only thing that sucks is this thing is like the reload's kind of slow, but as long as you got things under control, you could do anything. You got a dude over here. Let's find him. Try it. Come on, bro. Look at the way he threw that stupid C4. I should have just shot, bro. I'm actually freaking mad. That's actually just infuriating. We, we were doing so well, and then dude just had to see for me. Oh my god. Okay, 10 kill game. We can do this. We still come back, do well, and of course I'm across the map, bro. Okay, we're probably gonna have to drop on that scavenger at this point, because we need some kind of leverage. We gotta hurry, though. Get this loot so we can get our loadout ace out. I want to shock on people, you know? I don't want to use other guns. I want to make sure you guys get the content you deserve. Get some UAVs up in here. Okay, there's a couple people around. Get our shoddy. Get the SCG for longer range. Got a dude with a bounty on us. Okay, we're gonna go for these dudes, though. Two shot kill from that far, bruh. OP. Absolutely amazing. <laughs> oh, this shotgun's too fun. And the fire cell's already over, too. Yeah, they, they loosened the, the fire cell, bruh. That's actually kind of annoying. Okay, so we got a couple people around. Let him come through, bro. Let him come through. Let him come through. You are trash! Oh, you know what? I will body this dude, bro. I will body him. Let me land back over there. I'm telling you. I will destroy him. Let's win this game. We don't lose the gulag, man. We don't lose. We coming back, bro. We, we coming back for the shotgun. I just hate the way vehicles perform on this freaking mode. It's almost impossible to use a shotgun in Vanguard Royale just because the, the vehicles are just so slow. The shotguns are effective, it's just, you know, being up close really, really freaking sucks. This dude really got destroyed though. That's insane. See? Like, if I got up close to the dude, he's dying, bro. Einhorn revolving. Or the Amaran thing. Okay, we'll have the STG on. And I guess we'll maybe get that vehicle because this vehicle should be a little bit faster. Oh, somebody's on it. Damn it, man. That's kind of annoying. Oh, hold on. They're fighting each other. It's good. Hey, let me let me clap you real quick. Oh my god, I one-shotted him, bro. Oh, that's dangerous. Oh, he has a brand. Yeah, we taking that brand real quick. Hold on. I hear a lot of shooting somewhere. There we go. Where you at, sir? Let me get you in my shoddy real quick. Come here, boy! <laughs> oh, that's nasty, bro. That's actually nasty. Oh, there's a bunch of people on the edge. Telling you guys right now, this shotgun is no joke. We got 15 kills. Even though some of them are from the Gulag and some 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 other guns, you guys have I feel like you guys have seen ample evidence that this gun is good. So even if we don't win right now, this should show you how how great this gun is straight up. Oh, okay, we got a person over here. Find them. Hey buddies, y'all want to die again? <laughs> I love this shoddy, bro. This shoddy is just dangerous. Oh, he's up here. He's up here. Hold on, let me let him come here. Let him come here. Let him come here. See what happens. Hey, what happened? Nope. You're not living with me. Hold on, we gotta get down from here. You got people all over here, bro. 
We got 17 kills of a shotgun. On Vanguard Royale solos with trash freaking trash uh, vehicles. His vehicles usually really help, so. Yeah, we're gonna try and get to the middle though. Getting to the middle is very key here. Let's see if we get this 20 bomb. Oh my god, there's so many people here. This is good. Let's find them. Are you fucking kidding me? Let's find him. Let's find him. We got 18 kills. He's right in front of me. Boy! That is so fucking stupid! Overpowered gun in the game, people. Overpowered freaking gun. Let me see if this dude wants to challenge me. Like I said, only disadvantage is the slow reload, but it's good. We can get this 20 bomb. There you go. There's two people. There's a dude inside the house. We got a dude over here. 20 bomb with the Iron Horde revolving. I want this dude to push me, bro. Straight up. I'm trying to make it all shotgun kills. Because you guys know how much I I like to stick to the, uh, the weapon that I'm using. But this dude might force my hand here. Cannot lie to you. Because the way he's playing. Let's go! 21 kills! That dude really was about to kill me in the most scummy way, bro. Oh no, I can't be here, I can't be here, I can't be here. I might die here, people. Hold on. We need to grab this vehicle. We need to find this dude. If you're still here, man, I'm gonna body you. He's on, there's a dude on the edge of the map over here. No, we, we getting out of here. Ugh. Hold on. You can see me challenge him. We don't die! Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Okay, we got 22 kills. Don't let me get run over. Don't let me get run over. Please don't let me get run over. Okay, there's two people left. Bro, this Einhorn revolving is crazy, guys. Hold on, I might pull it for long range here. He's going up the ladder. We gotta, we gotta get to him quickly. No! I messed up the drop shot, man. Oh, make sure you guys drop a like, subscribe, and turn on the notifications. I was trying to like jump shot, drop shot, but that just didn't work out there. But hey, 22 kills with the Einhorn revolving. We definitely could have that W. I sh maybe should have stunned him. Maybe it would have been a little bit better there, but pretty good scoreline. Use this gun. It works out well. It legit is a two shot, one shot kill in any situation. As long as you're hitting your shots, it's so overpowered. Uh, let me know what other Vanguard guns I should use next, and just know that I really freaking love you all. Keep being big ballers. Bye. I love you all.